Hello, buddy. Chucklings, 1,000 for duty. Welcoming you back to more Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we defeated Jasmine, the gym leader of Olivine City, and got ourselves our sixth gym badge. This episode, we are en route towards the seventh gym, which we have to do a little bit of a backtracking in order to do because. We went all the way around down here into China City, explored the Safari Zone for a tiny little bit, and then had to go all the way back to Olivine City to challenge that gym. And as you can see, we haven't explored this entire area yet, and that's where we're going to be exploring now. And yes, you did see, we still got Raikou and Entei running around the region, I would try to catch them now, but the only situation is they're level 40, and they might outspeed a lot of my team, making it harder for me to catch catch them in certain mechanics, because you need a fast Pokemon that is able to take their hits, that can also learn moves like Mean Look or something to prevent them from escaping. But, here we go, we're in Route 42. We were actually able to explore this area a lot earlier. <laughs> yeah, this hiker thought that he heard us and that we were going to begin crying, but nah. He gives you the HM move for strength. And believe me when I say this, it is a pretty good move. It is 80 power, 100 accuracy, has no additional effects, but it's a physical attacking move, and there is a physical attacker who is able to learn this move that can able to adapt from it. Ah, Ferdinand. Because it's a normal time move, he's getting stabbed from it, it's definitely... 15 power greater than horn attack, and it's definitely a lot better than tail whip. So, we're going to give it a tail whip in exchange for strength. And, um, yeah, we still yet to hit the level requirement for Star You to learn Power Gem. So just keep that as a heads up in mind. But oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we also got the TM for Shadow Claw that we just saw pick up. This is a 70 power, 100 accurate ghost type physical move that acts exactly the same as a 70 power, 100 accurate physical normal type move known as Slash. Um. Gengar is the only Pokemon on our team who's capable of learning it, but I'm not a, I'm not doing that. Because as you know, he's not a physical attacker. Not by a landslide. But here in Route 42, there's two ways you can go. You can surf across the water, save time and effort, or you can explore Mount Mortar. There are new encounters in both Route 42 and Mount Mortar, Specifically, um, for Route 42, I think the new encounters are found in the grass, not in the water. But we're going to go across the water anyway, and... Oh, hang on, I, I just thought. Um, you want a Pokemon that's got the HM move cut. Yeah. Reason why, well, it's not really... Well, it is kind of important... But at the same time, it's kind of not, if you get my drift. So, let's fetch our Heracross. Oh, whoops. Okay, I, I honestly believed um, it was like the cinema mechanic where you actually hit the move down there. Uh, we're going to put Dragonair in for the time being. Actually, do you know what? Let's put our HM users down on the bottom right corner of this box. 
There we go. That's better. Reason why I say it's best if you have the HO move for Kurt. I mean, potentially you might also want Rock Smash as well when you're going inside Mount Mortar. Because Mount Mortar is actually bigger than you think in the inside. Believe me, it covers the entire Route 42. Uh, there will be some trainers to explore, but here we go. This is the reason. You can see, Suicune is over here. This area is commonly known to be missed. Specifically, if you're a new player. You can see it's got the yellow apricorn, green apricorn, and pink apricorn trees over there. And all of a sudden you see seeing shows of where we just appeared from. Suicune, how brave it is! How refreshing it is! How beautiful it is! And how quickly it moves. Ah, you seem to be around where Suicune would appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to ser search for Suicune is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite into myths. I've, all I've heard so many stories about Suicune from him. Suicune! I won't stop following you until I find out what you're after. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, not shouting. I am not breaking my voice. <laughs> but yeah, there are some items you can actually get here while surfing on the water in the outer part of Route 42. But we actually want to go inside Mount Mortar. as there are some new encounters you can get specifically here inside Mount Mortar. First of which is the Marchop family of Marchoke slash Marchoke. This Pokemon is a good fighter in dice situations with good opportunities of learning moves like Frost Chop at level 40 and Dynamic Punch at level 51. It does miss out on learning Karate Chop which has a high critical hit ratio but that move will immediately be forgotten once you see Cross Chop when it gets to the point of learning that move. Because um, that move does also have a high critical hit ratio, but it is more suited to teach uh, the Marchop family if it has the ability No Guard, which uh, allows both him and the opposing attackers to hit no matter the cost. Like, if a Pokemon uses Fly, Dive, Dig, whatever move to guarantee to avoid an attack, you'll get hit regardless. But other abilities you can carry is known to be Guts, as you can already tell what that does. Give it a status condition, and you will learn to regret it, because it will do double his physical attacking damage. Literally. But other Pokemon that you can find, and I'm not too sure if it's either by searching the cave floor or the water, you can find Maril. Balancing most of its stats slightly more under physical attack, it can be a fold as soon as it is caught. It can learn Aqua Tail at level 47, and is also another candidate of the mean defense curl rollout combo. But you can only teach it those moves. Once you reach the move relearner, which is still far away. And um, in all honesty, if it had its hidden ability, this would be a brilliant Pokemon to have. Because its hidden ability is Sap Sipper, which um, draws in grass type moves to raise the user's physical attack. But it does also carry huge power, which doubles its base physical attack, which is equally as good. It's just, with his base physical attack not being that high, it might fall behind. Uh, but other Pokemon you can find here, evolved from Subat is Golbat, and a better catch to grab. This Pokemon in Generation 2 had been given a new evolution known to be Crobat, who is known to be a really fast Pokemon, pretty much the second fastest in the Pokedex. With more speed, more attack, I'd pick this one up immediately, but to get it to evolve, you need Golbat's base happiness to be around 220 in order 
to get it to evolve. And yeah, in case you're wondering, I did not calculate this. I had to research it, in all honesty. But other Pokemon that you can find is Graveler. Uh, you are able to evolve this by trading as soon as you caught it, but my views on this Pokemon remain the same. It is hard to raise, most definitely weak to grass and water, which you'll still be dealing with for some time, and can't learn good moves until pretty late. And here's his pretty form Geodude. <laughs> and the final Pokemon... Um, there should be a guy... Stood inside this cave. I don't believe he's actually here. Unless he's actually deeper in the cave. But if you talk to him. He's known to be the Karate King. We actually heard about him. Talk to the Karate King. And what's actually interesting about this. He will give you. A new Pokemon. Known as Tyrogue. Tyrogue is strange to say the least. But easy to understand. Why this Karate King has as he calls himself, has one of these. Because it's the pre-evolved form of the Hitmons, of Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan. To get them, you need to level up Hit you need to level up Tyrogue to level 20, and depending on his stats is determined which Hitmon you'll get. To evolve into a Hitmon Lee, you need to be more in attack than defense. For Hitmon Chan, it's the opposite way around. But there is a third evolution and is the most annoying to get, knowing to be Hitmontop. To get it to become a Hitmontop, you need its attack and defense to be exactly the same when it gets to level 20. But if you notice one is higher than the other, before the evolution begins, you can press the B button to cancel this evolution to correct it as best as you can. But... It is, like I say, a pretty hard Pokemon to obtain. And, uh, oh, there's a strength border over here. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, um, since we got the 6th gym badge, we can use strength outside of battle, of course. So we can actually explore Mountain Water in a deeper format. Okay, we got the Tattos in here. I probably should be battling the wild Pokemon to get some experience, but it can be very time consuming, I will admit. I mean, there's a lot of items to be found in here, so it will be here for quite some time. Um, I won't specifically be able to show all of the items, but I'll pick up all that I definitely know that I can find. There we go, an Ultra Ball, we know what that does. Um, here we got Max Potion. We are actually able to buy these now. But with my Pokemon being as they are, it would be overpowered. Because all we would need is two Super Potions to fully heal my Pokemon's health. Whereas a Hyper Potion is known to heal up 200 HP in this game, which is broken as heck still. But a Max Potion, it goes beyond 200. Because the HP you recover is unlimited. It can recover 300. It can recover 999. Okay, so there's an item board down there, but it requires a move we are not going to be able to encounter till very, very, very late in the game. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I really am not kidding. If I had rebels, I would use them right now. Fortunately, though, my Staryu does not carry Illuminate for the ability. Because that would be a bummer. Uh, okay, over here. An escape rope. This actually gets us out of the dungeon uh, really, really fast. Right, go down this way. There actually are some hidden items to be found here, but I don't actually know where any of them are. And yes, we do have the dowsing mechanism. I don't really want to waste our time using it, if you get my drift. Hmm. 
Now, I think this guy is an optional trainer of the challenge, but he is a trainer of interest. Because he does... Well, he's known to be a super nerd, but he carries... Oh, he's not a trainer of interest. Never mind. <laughs> if you never encountered a Slowpoke in the wild in Slowpoke well... Uh, this guy would have one on his team. Ooh. Uh, we're just using them, but in case you're wondering, Slowpoke is going to be a water psychic type. In this game, that is. Ah. Wild Encounters, they're going to be dealing with a lot of these guys. I think probably what might be the best thing for me to do is uh, to explore Mount Mortar off camera and just start the next episode when we found the Karate King because I, cause where we went down on that long stretch... That was where he was supposed to be stood. I'm not too sure if he's actually found in here or not. So I think I'm going to call it an end for this episode. So that way we don't keep getting jumped on by wild Pokemon every five seconds. Next time on Pokemon Heart Gold. Even though we didn't actually do much. Like I said, I mean, all we did, uh, all we did was we explored into Ecrotech City. Found Suicune on Route 42. And did a little bit of... Talking about new encounters to be found inside Mount Water. I know I'm not a very skilled planner when it comes to Let's Play recordings. Because if I was able to cut out my recordings in any shape and form like Sugar Conroy does, I would do it. But I'm not a computer geek. Okay, see you guys then.